So Wateropolis is a manufacturer of granular materials. And there are alternatives to the traditional sand and anthracite type products that people are used to in the market. So somebody will come to us and say, We've got a filter, it's five years old, it's just not performing, it either never did perform where we needed it to be, there's been a regulatory change, we need to lower a limit on something, or we're running into resource constraints, we don't have enough water. Iron is generally easier to remove. You know, you can oxidize iron and then you have a number of choices. Most removals are a little less fussy about which crystal structure it ends up being. I guess the point is that manganese is a complicated mineral and a complicated thing to remove sometimes. If you use a manganese coated material, which, which we make, you can mitigate some of the potential for that pink water. So interesting. So Talk me through some of those other kind of design elements when you're selecting this, you know, your media uh, that people should consider. So a lot of it comes down to what sort of oxidant you want to use. Most common in municipal drinking water is chlorine, if a, a biological component that stays protected. And that, that matters because you're right. If you get carried away, you can overclean your filter and then you see a decrease in effluent quality we really end up in places where people are trying to come up with a lower cost or more, lower cost or more robust process.